Well, Darren, pleased to get a win. Very much so. I um, thought it was important to Rob because obviously we wanted to stop the sort of rut as such that we were in. Um, and, and we asked the players that, you know, the most important thing, especially at home as well, Rob, was to get that win. And I thought, we, I thought we'd done it. And, I thought, you know, I thought we were very good, especially in large spells, um, to get that. And, yeah, very pleasing. And, you know, and that's what we've got to do now. We've got to, we've got to start and build on that tonight. We've got to take it into Saturday with the same mentality. I thought the players put a shift. Every man to a man put the effort in, the commitment, the desire, everything that they needed to do to get the win. Um, and yeah, very pleased to, you know, for everybody, um, the club to, to get, to get the, the three points as such. I'm pleased for Omar Bogle to get a goal. Yeah, that's it. Uh, it's very important. And, and, and strikers, that's all they want to do. You know, there's a couple of other chances. And the good thing and the pleasing thing is we're creating opportunities for the strikers. Um, and, and it's important, you know, they, they, get, they continue to get them goals because, you know, like everything and, and, and football is about confidence. Um, and confidence has been low. Um, I think you can see that as evident. But the one thing, you know, you can control is the effort. And the, the, the players have done that in abundance. And once you put the effort in, you put the hard work in, you know, everything else will start, start to click into place. And, you know, we just have to get away from the errors that we've been conceding. We just have to continue to work hard. And, um, and I, have, I have no doubt the results will continue to come. Sanzala and Fox came back from injury as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was a, a, great, uh, you know, a, a great boost to the team. Which you know is important because you know Oz is such a big team, you know a big team player as well, and he's been out for the ten weeks, and we've missed him because you know that competitive strikers are competitive with each other, and to get him back on you know the pitch tonight, I thought was fantastic, and he worked hard. You know naturally he's going to be a bit rusty, and it's going to take him one or two games to get back up to speed, um, but rest assured he'll be in tomorrow. He'll be continuing to work hard to make sure that he gives the best he can for this football club. It was Papa John's, it's not the league, but was it important just to get a win no matter Absolutely. what? Absolutely, 100%. The, the, the win was important for everybody, you know, because the thing about it, you can see, you know, they, you go through the emotion of losing, which is difficult, it's hard, everybody, it impacts everybody, but you see in there, you know, it's a place, and they're not ecstatic, but it was important to get that win, and, and it's important that we build on that, and that's a key message, we've got to build on that, because, you know, you look at Saturday, it was difficult to take, you look at the opportunities in it, so the, the key messages for me today with the players is, you know what, do the controllable, you know, give everything you can to make sure that you win your battles, your individual battles, your collective battles, and I think through that you've had a chance. We've been creating chances, could have been a couple more. Um, ideally, I would have liked a clean sheet, if truth be told. Um, it wasn't to be, but it's, it's just something to build on, Rob, and I think that's important. We've got to go in again, a home game on Saturday um, against Colchester, and, and it's important we go in with the same mentality and, and have, have every, confidence we, every confidence we can win. Do you expect to be in charge of that home game, or was the intention that this will be your last game. Yeah, I, well, again, anything, anything can happen, type of thing, you know. But you know, for me, you know, tonight was was my last game. Um, effectively, you know, obviously, there's things, a lot of things going on in the background, but um, but obviously, we're working on, with, we're kicking on with. We've, we've done a lot of work um, over over sort of the last week, um, and yeah, things are things are progressing well, and um, yeah, hopefully, they'll be concluded very soon. How close are you to believe to get a new man in now? Um, yeah, I'd say within days, effectively, you know. But you know, as I said before, and, and Saturday, that the, the most important thing is that it's not a rush job. It's, it's making sure that the, the right person, the right fit for this club, because effectively, what we want to do, we want to, you know, start getting the wins under the belt. We need somebody to come in to, to, to make that right impact, but not a rush appointment. It's you know, again, as I say, the the last week there's been a lot of hard work by everyone um, at the club to make sure that we get the right appointment. Um, there was a report saying that you're on holiday <laughs> from. Is that true? Uh, yeah, I, I go away Thursday, but that was. Um, planned months ago and it's, uh, it, it's very personal circumstances um, otherwise to be quite honest it, it, it you know might be a different story as such but you know the thing about it you know the process has been planned and like everything you put a structure and a plan on things and you know this this is work where we're very close with what we need to do in regards to the next appointment so yeah I guess you by then you presumably handed over the process to the board anyways that the way you yeah, well, that, that's the way it, it, it could work. Obviously, they know the situation with that and the, and the personal circumstances with that. Um, 
and you know the, the, the plan was they're expected it was like everything you, you go into and we've worked extensively hard over the last week um, to make sure that that right appointment's right and, and we're near the end of that um, and, and hopefully we can have it sort of concluded within sort of the next day or two. You probably aren't worried about the holiday you're going. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but as well, I said, it's a very, um, yeah, it's yeah, a very yeah, well, um, personal, Dolphins, yeah. you know. Um, on Oz, what can you do for this side? Um, what, what sort of it, 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 can, it, it can be centre-back's worst nightmare, to put it in, um, and to sort of, you know, because you look at the last 10, 10 weeks and you know, you, you've had Will Evans and you've got Omar and you've got Thierry and people like that. Odds, odds adds, you know, obviously the competition element because it, strikers want to play, strikers want to score, score. But what he is, he's a nuisance up top. And what he effectively does is he doesn't give defenders a minute. So when you're looking to effectively defend from the front, he does that in abundance, you know, he's um, what he'll cover in a game. Don't get me wrong, he, he came tonight, 30 minutes was, that was the important thing for him, um, to build upon that. He was a bit rusty, naturally, but trust me, he'll, he'll be in tomorrow working hard to try and get up to speed, try and get 100% as best he can, um, to ensure he can do everything he can to, to get us up the league, because he, he'll contribute not only his work ethic to not give centre-backs a minute, but also his ability to score goals. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great to have him back on and give a great boost to the, the team, having him back, putting the kit on tonight. Um, and yeah, um, he'll, uh, he'll be up again, ready for selection Saturday. Whoever's selecting the side, do you think getting that sort of balance of the lively play, like James Waite was like, really took his chance, Mariah Welsh, because on Saturday it was more a pragmatic maybe side, you know? Sort of yeah, well, you know, you, you, you went into a situation well, Saturday where, probably similar to us, where you don't know what to expect, you don't know what to do um, in regards to you know the formations because you'll do a bit of formation but I wanted Saturday to be about us and what we do and I think that's important that you know we have that belief and install as much as you'll always do a bit on the opposition naturally I thought it was Saturday it was important that you know we focused on us and what we were going to do and you know the like of your Nathan you see when he came on Saturday the impact that he had in the game but the like of James Waite, you know, he, he, he's been waiting in the wings ready for that opportunity. I thought he was outstanding tonight. Um, he, he's just such an honest, hard-working young man and that would have given him some, you know, great confidence tonight to get that goal, but also his work ethic, um, his ability to win the ball back and his, his uh, decision-making in possession I thought was very good. I thought everybody last night, the key things that I asked them to do, they've done it in more. You know, and that was the work hard, and, and hopefully our supporters seen that. In regards to, yeah, people might not, you know, look at it that it's not the biggest win in the world, but it's an important win. It's an important win to really, you know, sort of start our season where it should be. And as I say, hopefully getting into Colchester now Saturday, we can give our fans something to, you know, um, shout about, get behind the team, and go on again and get three points. Cheers,